What's up everyone, this is Victor for Phone Arena bringing you a review of the Acer Liquid E2. The Acer Liquid E2 is an affordable mid-range Android handset and that sounds boring, right? Not exactly. Don't be so fast, fast in your judgment as this phone is the first we get with the MediaTek MT6589. That sounds geeky, but actually that is the quad-core processor that makes $200 1080p handsets available in China and that is a quite an exciting possibility. The Acer Liquid E2 Duo is a dual SIM device actually and it is not that impressive as a 5-inch 1080p display. In exchange for that it runs buttery smooth Android Jelly Bean and has a surprisingly good 8 megapixel camera Beneath the not so pretty plastic surface of this phone, you get to see just how far affordable Android handsets have gone. Stay with us. We said there is a lot to get excited about the Acer Liquid E2 Duo, but let's just make it clear that none of that excitement comes from its design. The phone is plastic, it's thick, and it looks downright kitsch. It has a large bezel around the screen which is generally unimpressive. The navigation keys also are unevenly lit, something that you can see clearly here, but it makes the phone look cheaper and the dual speaker setup on the back does not look particularly classy. The snow white color on the front flows into a pearl white tone on the back. On the back also the plastic is soft to the touch and it feels a bit rubbery which is great for a comfortable grip. A thin chrome strip lies around the side and there is a volume rocker on the right and the lock, lock key is located on top. The Liquid E2 features a 4.5 inch display with a resolution of 540 pixels by 960. That is just one step behind the coveted 720p high definition. Pixel density is uh, decent but not great at 245 ppi. That means there is a slight pixelization when you get up close and you can see this in some icons. Viewing angles on the IPS display are good but colors fade out a bit when you tilt the device to more extreme angles on the side. The screen is reflective uh, and this is something that makes it a bit harder to read in direct sunlight. But if you avoid those reflections, it is decently legible even under the direct sun. Good news with the Acer Liquid E2 is the device lacks a heavy custom skin and counts on almost pure Android 4.2. Point one, Jelly Bean. Going with stock Android was a safe decision as everything is perfectly well optimized to run lag free. All the signature features of Jelly Bean like the lock screen widgets, you can see right here in a second, so let's just unlock the device. Here are the lock screen widgets. You can go right into the camera and uh, the actionable notifications are all on board. The phone book, we can just fire it up is nearly pure stock Android affair adorned with dual SIM functionality. So in this case we don't have the SIM cards, but if you have them the notification shade changes into a contextual menu where you can pick between one of the SIM cards and select it as the active one. In addition to static and live wallpapers, you can play a video as a live background. So here we have selected a video and here you go, it plays as a live wallpaper. This is a video, you can also select a folder. Also stock apps like the gallery for instance, got neat features like live preview of videos. So right here you can see a live preview in, the, in these styles of videos. Overall the device feels very snappy. It is the first phone we get to review with the MediaTek quad-core chip that is the MT6589. It comes with 1 gig of RAM and a PowerVR SGX544 chip, graphical chip. The graphics chip is not all that impressive but at that resolution it handled most games perfectly fine and here you can see Rope Rescue running again great on, on this uh, Acer device. The phone features 4 gigs of internal storage and of that only around 800 megabytes are available to the end user. Luckily you can expand storage via micro SD cards of up to 32 gigabytes. The handset supports the highest HSPA plus downlink, downlink speeds of 42 megabits per second and comes with Wi-Fi BGN connectivity. It also features the stock Android browser and the Chrome browsers preloaded. Both are stable and proven browsers and the zooming in and out in pages and scrolling around there just works 
flawlessly and you can see how changing the orientation happens swiftly. Other connectivity options include Bluetooth 3.0 and GPS. The Acer Liquid E2 features a camera that surprises with the quality of captured images. Located in the back, the 8 megapixel autofocus camera with a single LED flash uh, is quick and feature rich. It captured images with mostly accurate colors. With depth of field was uh, particularly impressive in macro shots. And you can see this right here. We shot a couple of, of macro images right here. You can see the level of uh, the depth of field is really impressive. And um, it was not perfect, of course. We lacked sharpness in some of the images, and some images' colors turned out to be a bit unnatural, skewed towards the warmer, slightly yellowish tones. As a bonus, the phone supports HDR and burst shot with up to 99 consecutive shots, features that we are used to seeing in, on higher end devices. The Acer Liquid E2 records video in 1080p. There were no skipped frames, but we lacked a bit in uh, sharpness. The, the footage was soft. The phone comes with dual microphones for sound recording and we came very impressed with and happy with the deep and rich sound captured by this device. The camera app itself is rich in options. You can pick between the most common scene modes and for more detailed settings you have this menu right here. And there's also a front, a front 2 megapixel camera that is good for video conferencing in apps like Skype and Viber, but little else. The handset is well equipped for video playback. Uh, it supports all widely used formats, including DivX, Exit, and MKV, and it plays back videos at 1080p with ease. And here you can see how a video looks like on, on the 4.5 inch display. For music, the Liquid E2 uses Google's Play music application, the Play music application that arranges all your music by uh, artists and songs. And that's a pretty neat arrangement. Here we have our own music here. And sound output happens via two loudspeakers on the back. It's the most prominent design element of this device. And uh, they're located on top and bottom. And while they do get loud, sound comes out a bit distorted and muffled, lacking the depth we wish to hear. With its 2000 mAh battery and relatively frugal chip and screen, the Acer Liquid E2 got us through a day of average use easily. You can deplete the battery even faster though if you abuse the camera and play a lot of videos and games. And call quality is important for all handsets, but for dual SIM devices it is of paramount importance. The device handled itself well and it was loud enough so that our callers could hear us in even noisier environments. Our voice was instantly recognized as clear and natural and on our end of the line output also through the earpiece was very loud and clear. The Acer Liquid E2 is a controversial device. On one hand is the snappy processor, good camera, and the nice and up-to-date nearly stock Android. On the other hand is a design that is not inspiring to say the least. And that is the exact problem many white box manufacturers from China face nowadays. Android has gotten to the point where even cheaper devices can deliver smooth daily performance, but consistently fail in the design department. Let's face it though, for an off-contract price of around $300, the Acer Liquid E2 delivers more than comparable smartphones from better established brands. And if you value performance and can overlook the uninspiring design, this handset definitely has a lot to offer. For a more detailed review, feel free to check out phonearena.com. Thanks for watching.